You got balls. I'll give you that. So before my guys blow your brains out, I'll humor you. What do you want? John Woo is famous for his high action, Hong Kong flicks, uh, full of guns, beautiful poetry, and lots of slow motion. Now John Woo has actually got into the video game industry, uh, bringing out John Woo's Stranglehold. This is a sequel to Hard Boiled, one of John Woo's most famous movies. And it stars Chow Yun-Fat as Inspector Tequila. And this is a true sequel, as the story does actually take place after the original Hard Boiled. It's a game that uses a lot of the cinematic flair that John Woo has become famous for. So you're going to see a lot of slow motion action. You're going to see a lot of dubs flying everywhere. You're going to see Inspector Tequila dive in slow motion, land on a cart, and just have it rolling forward as he's shooting guys. Uh, there's just guns everywhere, blood everywhere, and it really captures the spirit of a John Woo movie perfectly. In fact, even the story, which really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, is full of the kind of melodrama that people love from John Woo. So there's going to be the kidnapped daughter, there's going to be the dead partner cop, uh, there's going to be those dramatic moments where guys are screaming, no, you know, as somebody important to them dies. Everything you could possibly want from a John Woo film is in here. The Stranglehold, while it is only a six hour experience, is balls to the wall, non-stop shooter. It is six hours of constant action. There's only one pace and that's full gas going forward. Now as Inspector Tequila, you're gonna have a variety of weapons at your disposal. Uh, you're gonna have pistols, you're gonna have a submachine gun, you're gonna have an assault rifle, rocket launcher, grenades, a heavy machine gun as well. All of these will let you just destroy and tear up the environment and of course kill many, 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 many enemies. But the biggest tool that you have as Inspector Tequila are what are called the Tequila Bombs. And these are earned gradually throughout the game. These are four different powers basically, and as you perform special moves like running along a stair railing, or you know, jumping off a wall in slow motion and killing a guy, you're gonna be building up your power meter. And as it fills up, you'll be able to do any of the four tequila bombs with the use of the D-pad. You can heal yourself, which is important because you're going to just get shot constantly. Or you can do precision aiming, which slows down time and lets you precisely aim your bullet at an enemy from far range and shoot them, and then you get a special animation death. And it's all based on where you hit them. So you can hit a guy, pop him in the forehead, and he'll jump backwards. Shoot a guy in the eye, and you'll actually see blood squirting out of the eye. Uh, my favorite is shooting a guy in the throat because he'll grab his throat and actually try to talk as his blood's gushing out. Uh, and if you're really sadistic, you can in fact shoot a guy in the family jewels and uh, there's a special animation for that as well. The third power is probably the most useful, it's called Barrage. And when you hit Barrage, you get about 30 seconds where your uh, gun won't run out of ammo. In fact, you're not even using any of your real ammo. You'll shoot really fast and you're invulnerable. And the best thing about Barrage is it's a great way to tear up the scenery because just about everything in Stranglehold is destructible. But when you're in Barrage, everything becomes much more easily destructible. One shotgun blast can just destroy a pillar, whereas normally it would take, you know, 10 shots. And of course, you're going to be tearing through guys the entire time that you're doing this. Now, you do a Barrage with a shotgun, it's pretty effective. You do a Barrage with an RPG, and it's incredibly deadly. And the last power is a smart bomb. This will have Tequila just spinning around in a circle. He basically just shoots everything on sight. It's an instant kill of anything that's on the screen. You also get a nice little image of doves flying away. Uh, it's cool, but honestly, it sort of takes a little bit of the fun out of it. Barrage is certainly going to be the one that you're going to end up using the most. Now, there are a couple problems with Stranglehold. You are going to mostly want to be working in slow motion, and the easiest way to do that is to simply dive forward with the trigger. The problem is that sometimes when you're diving forward, you'll actually want to interact with an object because most objects are interactable, like the railings and such like that, or you're swinging from a chandelier. But sometimes you'll try to dive on a stairs and you'll just dive forward instead of actually connecting with the rail. So that can get a little bit frustrating. Sometimes you'll be facing a wall and you'll think pressing the trigger will have you jump off the wall, but instead you'll just keep standing there looking like an idiot. And of course, this is a game then where you really are just jumping around in slow motion constantly. Now you can manually put yourself into slow motion while you're walking, but who wants to do that? You, you want to be flying through the air in slow motion shooting guys. While it does look cool, even six hours in, it does get a little bit old. Now for those who breeze through the single player and maybe want to try something different, there is multiplayer available. Uh, it's six players online, and basically everybody has powers just like Tequila does. 
So you'll have guys diving in slow motion, doing the barrages, trying to do the precision aims. But it works really well when you're playing against an AI in the game. It doesn't really work all that well when you're playing against other people because both people need to be in slow motion for slow motion to work. Uh, and when you try the precision aiming, your aiming actually moves very slowly, but the person moves at a real speed, so it's almost impossible to hit somebody with that precision aim. The only one that's really useful is Barrage, because, again, you get unlimited ammo and you're invulnerable for a while, so you can really tear through people online. So while Stranglehold isn't the greatest game of all time, it's certainly going to please a lot of John Woo fans. Uh, it absolutely captures the spirit of the films, uh, and there's some great levels too. Like you're going to go into the Chicago History Museum and run up the spines of dinosaurs. Uh, there's even one level where you go into an area where there's a jazz band playing, and your whole mission is just to keep the jazz band playing while you're fighting, which is completely something that you would see in a John Woo movie with this band playing around this incredible scene of chaotic violence. And for that, it gets big thumbs up. And it is a completely insane experience that really any fan of action games should try out. So while Stranglehold isn't the game of the year, it's certainly a game worth getting on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. <laughs>